Okay, so if you're having troubles with the cable TV, uh, here are some steps that you can troubleshoot to make sure that everything is working okay. First off, uh, here's the cable box. You always want to make sure that when the TV is off like this, you want to make sure the cable box is off, that there's no lights on. So when you go ahead and you press on the watch cable button, you'll see the TV is going to turn on and the cable box will turn on. So always make sure that that's on and you won't have any problems. There are certain situations where sometimes uh, you notice that you press one of these cable buttons like guide or menu or exit or info any of these buttons and you'll see the cable box won't do anything and usually that's because when somebody picks it up sometimes but they hit by mistake they hit TV right here so when you do that you take the remote and you change the modes for it and it won't work on the cable box on this one it worked but see now when I go to hit guide nothing happens because it's trying to hit the guide on the TV so in situations like that and on other TVs the channel won't work if you go to change it and it'll change the channel on the TV and put it on the wrong input so you always want to make sure that the cable button is the one that's selected so that you can do the guide and you can do everything else so always make sure when you have the remote when you press the OK button you want to make sure that cable button lights up if you notice that any of these other lights like right now I hit OK the TV buttons lighting up that's in the wrong mode so always keep it in cable mode and the remote should work fine every time so if you turn on the TV and it tells you no signal and it says check the source of the device is connected and you look at the cable box see the cable box is on that means that this TV is on the wrong input so in that situation in most TVs you can use the summit remote and hit the video input button and you can just click that until you get to what says HDMI 1 or it'll say cable box like in this situation but since this is a smart TV you need to use the TV remote which it's right here it says Vizio and then you just press the input button and then you just have to go on this TV it says cable box so see it says cable box on the top so that's how you get the TV to the right source so always make sure that the cable box is on and when you go to the TV it should say HDMI or cable box so sometimes uh, there's certain situations where you hit the watch cable button and either the TV will turn off and the cable box will turn on or it'll stay on or vice versa where something will turn off and the other will stay on so right now I have the TV off but you can see right here the cable box is still on so in a situation like that I hit the watch cable button and what's going to happen is the cable box is going to turn off see there but the TV is on so see it's on the right input it says cable box but now see nothing's happening and it's pretty much because when it got out of sync the cable box turned off so in a situation like that where you know the TV is on because you press the volume button and you can see the volume going up but the cable box is off and you know that because you see the light is off here's where you use this power button that's right here so when that happens you just press the power button you'll see the cable box turn on and now you can watch TV so you always want to make sure when you're turning it off or on that both of them turn on and off and if one of them doesn't that's what this green power button is for so always make sure that you keep them in sync so when you press this watch cable button 
right there. You'll make sure it turns on and off every time.